Welcome back to Royan Rescue. I've been away some time. I, I apologize for the big break, but I uh, took a little trip out west. I'm in hope to incorporate some of the things that I discovered out west into some of the up and coming Royan rescues from everything from potentially a grizzly attack, uh, grizzly bear attack, that is, and how to avoid one and how to fight your, uh, defend yourself from one, all the way to other injuries that can happen in um, wild terrain. But in this Royan rescue, we received a question from a student asking about the shot, the capillary refill test when trying to find out if a person is suffering from early signs of shock. Now I say that because capillary refill is really an early indicator, not a late indicator, but an early indicator of a circulatory compromise related to early signs of shock doesn't matter right now what the reason for the shock is and there can be numbers of reasons why people begin to show signs and symptoms of shock but one of the earliest tests that we do is we take the nail bed of the hand when you pinch the nail bed and let go it goes from white to pink the time that it takes to go from white to pink should be no more than one to three seconds that's a normal capillary refill Anything beyond that is a slow capillary refill and can usually mean one of two things. Either A, that the person has cold hands or poor circulation, or B, they might be going into early signs of shock from something that we don't even know what it is yet. If that's the case, activate 911. Always assess airway breathing circulation. Check for signs of bleeding, internal or external, but make sure that you support their airway breathing and circulation. You can lay them down, elevate the legs, cover them with a sheet coat or blanket, to keep them warm and those are some of the things that you can do to help combat against shock. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks again and we'll look forward to talking to you next time. This is Roy Shaw with Roy and Rescue. Bye bye.